are configuring an application to be proxied through the Big IP. You just saved the last objects to create your configurations and tested the application in development. And now you need to recreate the configurations in production. Along the way, there were configuration changes made and a few fires on other various projects. So you put out the fires, and now you are looking into exactly what configuration objects are needed to recreate the configuration on production. Would it be nice if the configuration were code to be ran with the push of a button and the objects be created on the fly with the ability to recreate them at any time? With F5's Application Services 3 extension, it provides you the ability to create the configuration as code using a declarative interface within the Big IP for managing application-specific configurations. I am Melissa Wentz, a Solutions Engineer with F5, and today we will learn why using the AS3 extension can create application configuration as code for speed, configuration reusability, version control, and detailed configuration management to integrate with the CI-CD pipeline. By the end of the video, you will have a better understanding on how you can implement the application configuration as code using a simple approach and what that can do for you and your organization. For an application to be proxied through the Big IP, it needs to be configured with things like an IP address, a service port, a service type, and a pool member, to name a few. The AS3 extension can speed up deployment of applications by giving the administrator or developer the ability to use a tool to post a JSON declaration to the Big IP to create the application configuration objects. But wait, what does post a JSON declaration to create the application configuration objects really mean? A JSON declaration is a specific way to write out the configuration objects in a flat file instead of mouse and click in the GUI. It contains JSON objects that are written out for the configuration of the application. Building the JSON file is like building a car. There are several main objects contained in the car, like the body type, drive axle, and the engine type. Those would be called classes. So let's get to building and take a look at the engine, since it can reflect how the application configuration would need to be written. There are many components that are attached to an engine and are needed for it to run, just like there are many configurations needed for an application to run. For instance, there are spark plugs, pistons, and a crankshaft, all encapsulated within the engine. Think of the engine components being a pair, part name and part number, whereas the application components would be a key and a value pair. The configurations written out would compare like this. Once the application configuration objects are written out in the specific format, the JSON declaration is then sent to the REST API endpoint using a POST method. But wait, what does sending a JSON declaration to a REST API endpoint using a POST method really mean? Think of the REST API as a way to transfer the data over the web using a service. It provides a way for two software programs to communicate with each other, kind of like the process when you want your vehicle to go. The engine is started, and we will post the JSON declaration by stepping on the gas pedal. The gas pedal understands the configuration and triggers multiple components to begin the process. The throttle is opened, and an amount of air is regulated into the air intake while fuel is injected to maintain the air-to-fuel ratio. The engine understands how to convert the mixture into energy, like converting the written objects into virtual ones on the Big IP, and it makes the vehicle go just as the Big IP makes applications go. What this can do for you and your organization is provide the application configuration as code for speed, configuration reusability, version control to create detailed configuration management, in which will streamline the deployment of the Big IP application configurations to integrate with the CI CD pipeline to allow for automation and orchestration by using F5's automation toolchain. Application configuration as code. Hit the gas pedal and make your apps go. I'm Melissa Wentz. Thank you for joining me.